What happens here at Polsboro is we are bringing in these segments. They're manufactured in Germany to this point, and we finish the manufacturing process. What's next to me here is three million pounds of steel. So we take these segments and we weld them together in the circ weld building that's behind me. Welding's done up on top on these uh, yellow platforms. So what you see on both sides are, is essentially a big rotisserie, right? You can see the, the, the rollers underneath this. So this whole thing spins while the welding's being done, you know, up at the noon position. The majority of it is done with the machines, but this is more like the final cleanup or any repairs or such is done by hand. And then from there, we take them over for coating. So they get their paint job in the building that's also behind us. Steel grit that almost looks like sand. It comes out of a blast hose, like a big fire hose. And they take all the rust and uh, scale off of the monopile. Um, so it's down to a bare white metal. And then they put three layers of epoxy on. So it's a lot of work. It's about a thousand gallons of paint for each one. So uh, it takes uh, two weeks to paint ones 24-7 to make the final product here, which is, this is the first uh, monopile built in America. Um, so we have the capacity to do 100 a year of these to support the offshore wind industry here in New Jersey. You know, it's just a large piling at the end of the day into the sand, and that's what supports the tower that goes above that. The yellow portion sticks above the water, and then others build the, the uh, tower from there up. From here, we're gonna store these, so we'll have them all lined up, ready for next summer, and Orsted will pick them up, and they will be barged out off of Atlantic City. 